relieved to get that out of the way. No problems. And the walking centre in Coventry was great, even though I went to my GP first, got the wrong location. But you know what? Don't worry. I got there in the end. <laughs> Your day had a better start. And this is why I'm very excited about this next story that we're talking about on The Cov Show, because it's the academic equivalent of the X Factor, as the search is on for 30 new students to join Warwick University to research the best ways to respond to pandemics. Three million pounds of donations has been made available to fund this uh, PhD pandemic scholarship. Let's speak to Dr Nicole Robb from the Warwick Medical School and uh, uh, of the Institute for Global Pandemic Planning to find out a bit more. Afternoon, Nicole. Oh, hey there. Hi. I was going to say Dr Robb, but it's a Friday. Can I call you Nicole? <laughs> <laughs> of course you can. So this is great. I mean, we really don't want to be caught on the hop in the future with any pandemic. So this is a crucial bit of research, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah we're really excited about it. Um, so the idea is that, you know, um, of course, COVID has been absolutely devastating for, for the world. But it's probably not the last pandemic that we're going to be faced with. So we'd like to really bring together a whole series of experts in all different fields and uh, get them in one place and get them to come up with new innovative solutions for tackling pandemics. See, this is great. The world's best brains come into our patch to solve what is a, you know, an awful problem. Uh, how exciting is that to be pioneering this? Yeah, very, very excited. And we've been so lucky. We've had um, really generous um, support and donations from a number of alumni and donors, and that's allowed us to establish this new institute. Mm, because we were all proud as punch when we saw Margaret Keenan uh, be the first woman in the Western world to get the uh, Pfizer jab. She was all over the news, Coventry Absolutely. well and truly, you know, making the headlines. Um, and that's I suppose, right. And 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 I suppose this could be the same thing. That's right. So, so Warwick already has some super experts in um, these kind of areas. So we've already got researchers in mathematical modelling, in public health, in behavioural science, who are all working on these kind of problems. And the idea of the Institute and of the new PhD programme is to bring these people together. Mm. I, I mean, will it be... I mean, will it be hard to whittle them down to 30? Because what surprised me is how fast these, you know, these experts, scientists have all worked together to get the vaccine. Of course, one was, you know, put into my arm today. So yeah. it is great when the world comes together. And so, but there must be thousands, hundreds of thousands of experts. How are you going to whittle them down to 30? <laughs> I, th I think it's going to be quite a tough job, to be honest. Um, yeah, exactly. So um, because it's it's a very interdisciplinary approach, you know, the idea is to bring together experts from lots of different areas. And so we're asking for applicants who have first degrees in, you know, fields like maths, like public health, um, but also any other th fields related to that. So, um, yeah, well, I mean, obviously we're looking for really strong candidates and I'm, I'm sure that we're going to get great applicants. And yeah, um, we'll just have to, to, to whittle them down, like you say. Mm. And are you looking for people who are really, really bright? I mean, is it going to be, you know, the top of the, you know, of the, the creme de la creme? Or are you <laughs> looking for people that actually think, well, actually, I you know loads, or, you know, I'm fascinated about this subject. I may not have, you know, a, a first honours degree, but I, I know my stuff. Is it for everybody? Um, so the, we, we do require a two one degree, but I think that having enthusiasm and interest goes a really long way. So absolutely, when we're when we're chatting to the candidates, I think you know having somebody who's on board with with the idea behind the institute and understands what we're trying to do and understands that um, it's not just one field of science that's going that's mm. needed to tackle pandemics. Um, okay. It's it's everybody coming together. Um, uh, so absolutely, that is one of the things that we'll be looking for. Okay, PhD, I'm um, reckoning three years? It's a four-year PhD oh, four. programme, actually. So students will have the opportunity in the first year to do a few taught courses. Uh, there's a wide range available, so you can find things that suit you and interest you. Uh -huh. And then you'll follow that by three years of actual research on, in, on your PhD project. Oh. 